What is going on guys? Today we are back in Texas, thank God, because Colorado was cold as hell. I am on the lake here with uh, Mr. Rackley, once Hello. again. He's, uh, his 2017 fishing has started off, he says, kind of mediocre, so hopefully we can change that today, because this lake has been on fire for me. I don't know about him, what do you think? I think it's been pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm excited about it. So, but today we're going to be fishing with a rod, for probably the most part, hopefully. If, uh, if Justin and I think they could be on beds, Possibly oh, the one. He thinks they're definitely on beds. So we're gonna be doing that. But I brought this rod out for you guys. This one right here. This is the, the lightest rod in the entire world. Uh, it weighs an ounce and a half. I'm gonna be fishing this for a little while. Uh, basically, it's extraordinarily light. So it could either uh, end up really bad for me, which could be a possibility if we hook into something big, or it could be really awesome. So, but I got this package the other day. Uh, I came in last night and this was showing up on my doorstep. All these hats. These Lunkers TV hats, I had no clue they were even coming in. Um, I don't know if we're gonna sell them or not. Uh, they were just a random package from Favorite, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I got 15 of them, so I'm gonna give you guys some away, five or 10 of them. Leave a comment below. I don't really know, just comment anything. Comment, uh, what should you guys comment? What should they comment, Rackley? Um, you should comment the best lure for dirty water. There you go. There you go, Rackley says, comment the best lure for dirty water and I'll select one of the comments uh, below, and then uh, we'll go from there. <sighs> All right, dude, you want to, uh, what do you think we should do first? You want to go deep or you want to go shallow? I think we get on the bank. You want to get on the just bank? hammering it down. All right, let's go beat the bank, guys. You think so? Oh my God. We're gonna start off a little drop shot action right now with this really, really, really tiny rod. Dream shot? It, yep. Yeah, we're gonna. It's over. Dude, look at this. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, look at the action. Like, this is me barely, look at this. It's like crappies. This is that's crazy. This is scary light, is what it is. I'm gonna have to really kind of let the fish work its do its own thing here. This is scary. Look, like, look at this. Look at this. This is just the weight of the. Look at that. Oh god. <laughs> Did you get a four pounder. <laughs> so what? So what you guys are literally watching me and Rackley do right now? Uh, we've been here. I don't know what an hour maybe. About an hour. We've been fishing for about an hour. We've gone from. I've been. I started off throwing this drop shot on this rod. I'm trying to catch, I will catch fish by the end of the day on this rod, but it's, I don't know if it's that time of day yet. Uh, but we're going through patterns. Like right now I'm throwing a weighted uh, wacky rig setup. He's throwing into the bush, or not into the bush, that was some African lingo apparently. Uh -huh. He's throwing into the reeds and I'm throwing on the outer edge. We're trying to figure out where these fish are or if they're even, they could be locked on on this lake and then it might be, could make things a little bit more difficult if we can't find them, like actually visually see them, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I promise. We'll, we'll figure it out by the end of the day. I'm thinking they could be with the sun coming up, go around and suspend around the trees because the, the trees, the logs will heat up. They'll sit. They want to get a little warmer because we had a cold front come through. That's probably a really key thing to tell you guys while we were gone. But yeah, who, who's, who's been in Texas this week? We were. Yeah, yeah. Who's been in Texas? Because we apparently the, the the temperature was 70, 79, 80 degrees while we were gone, and we come back and it's 35. We brought it down. We brought it down. We brought we brought Colorado's weather with us. And I'm wearing freaking boat shoes, like water shoes, with uh, white socks. My toes are absolutely just numb and burning right now. It was a really dumb move on my part. So I'm gonna quit talking and go back to fishing. There's one. Got him on the edge of the grass. Oh god, he's pissed. Look how fast he's swimming. I think he's sucking pretty good. I think he's... You ready? Good. Yes. Oh, there we go, finally. Hey, that one's still fat, dude. Fat that was fat. shallow. Shallow fish. Shallow. There we go. First one of the day. Finally. God, dude, it's felt like... It's been a while. There we go, guys. First one, different camera angle. You guys are kind of low. No, I'm not. The reason why you guys are low because apparently uh, I just found out that I could attach you guys to this angle of the boat. It makes fishing a lot easier. So Ragley's gonna flip in here. He was right on the edge of the reeds. Oh, oh yeah, and I dropped my hat in the water, so that, that's how my day's been going. What do you What do you got on, dude? I've been, I'm throwing a trick worm right now. What's up? He's throwing a jig. I'm flipping a shaky head with a worm. So maybe, maybe, maybe if we can catch one more, I'll feel a lot more comfortable with the shallow bite. These people have been going from, we've seen people fishing in one foot of water and people fishing in 15 foot of water. 
some are spawning, some are post, I don't know, I'm just, our mind has been going, because we've been on the water for two and a half hours, and that was the first bite we've had, so let's get back at it. Got him. Right on the edge of the grass, like right on the edge. Oh God, he saw the boat and just darted again. I'll bring him on this side, I'm gonna flip him. Jeez, never mind, dude, look at this thing. Why is he so mad? Wait, ah. He got here. There you go. This is another healthy one, dude. Yep. I think this is a, I don't know. Can't really tell. Might be a female. Look how small the mouth is compared to the body. Not a very big one, whatever it is. Charged up. That's definitely not a post spawn fish. No, it's not a post spawn fish. We caught that one just on the edge of the grass. You guys saw I was just dragging along the edge of this reed line. Picked up that one. Got some extra life in it, huh? That one was charged up. So I was just thinking to myself, clues. dude. What? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? That's two clues. Two what? really fresh looking fish. Yeah. Really fighting hard. They don't look post spawned out. Sun's came up. Sun's coming up. Maybe they're starting to pull. Yep. Yeah, maybe, yep. Maybe it might be coming up. Maybe it's time to, I was actually literally thinking to myself, weightless Senko time. Yeah. Was what I was That's thinking. What I got on. So Is that? We'll see. I was thinking weightless Senko time in between these little pockets. It's been two and a half hours, but since the last fish, it's probably been about 10 minutes, which is a good, good thing. Do you like Carolina rig fishing or no? I do it in post spawn, but it's. Oh, God. It's, it's got. Fun. Oh, my God. Got him. Right there. Did you see that? Oh. Oh, he chased it all the way in. I was about to pull up. I know. Freaking bonked it right there under the boat. Jeez Louise, did he want that? That was crazy. What? Just, I felt him take it right before we put it in the boat. How far do you think that line was out there? I probably could have just. You know, I think he might have been coming this way. <laughs> I was, I was like right here, and it was just like. Uh oh, all right. Well, that's uh, that's one way to catch a shaky head fish. You don't usually catch them when you're Jacked him. really in like that, but sweet. We were just talking about Carolina rig fishing and fishing the edge. If I catch one more on the edge, then they're probably pushing up in. That's sa that same cast. I think, I think, I think they're about to be doing it. How, how does he say it? Yeah. Doing right it. Or die. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a shaky head on that, that light rod. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That could be kind of dangerous. I might have to go with a little bit lighter shaky head, but that's what I'm gonna do. Told you, I wanna, I wanna catch a fish on that very tiny rod, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn, put a shaky head on that sucker. Fish. Shaky head, oh, I gotta remember I can't. All right. I'm using the very, very, very light rod right now, like absurdly light. Like a crappie rod. Like a, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him get, to, all right, here we go. I am not boat flipping this. You wanna grab him for me, dude? Yeah, I'll get you. Like we are using an ultra, ultra, ultra light rod right now. Ooh. We're gonna have Justin land this sucker for us. They eat it pretty well. Your face. Ooh, dude, look. at oh, it. Dude, he's, freaking demolished it look at that this thing wanted it right there boys and girls we got one on the world's lightest rod now i can say i caught a fish on the world's lightest rod i think i'm going to continue to fish it just because that was uh awesome but the bite felt like a hammer oh i knew it was on <laughs> i knew it was there i'm going to get this thing undone and i'll, I'll get back with y'all sweet got him i'm going to continue to use this for a little bit they're clearly wanting something that's on the bottom being drug real slow huh I, even, I went down like a finesse style shaky head, like a round head, just because, well, because of the rod I'm using. He's, gonna, he's looking for a spawner when he had one just destroy his jig probably five minutes ago. Yeah, like three times in a row. And you know that, okay, so the reason why we knew they were spawning and it's actually just protecting is because they're just, they're, he's just smashing it, like get it, trying to get it off the bed. That's basically what's happening. They didn't really want, they don't want to eat when they're on a bed. They're just trying to protect it, so. He's got the right. He's got the right look going. He's got a little crawl in there, and they come in there and they're gonna gobble the hell out of it. Hopefully. All right, let's get back fishing. You do? Is it moving? Oh, jeez! 
Oh my god. It was coming back fast. Dude, he was it was on something that was moving or it wouldn't have. I have have never seen you move that fast. It flung out of the water so quick. Oh, but not I had a, a freaking shaky head hook in the like face. Out of hell. <laughs> See? Oh, Rackley's right, got a first. Was it a good one or no? Oh, I'm trying to reverse. I was just hung up, dude. This Rob's real. It's really awkward, huh? Yep. Ran with it. There you go. We had to slow down. That's all it was, man. Well, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah, he's hooked good. Yeah. Oh. Was it? I was a. I'm glad you guys didn't see that hook set because it was really pretty embarrassing. There you um, go, dude. Oh, he's nice. He's nice. Oh my gosh. Is he... Can you smell how good that is? <laughs> oh man, when you haven't caught one in a while, they smell extra sweet. Oh, I love you. Well, Rackley's got his first one. Got his first one on the boat. Good job, dude. Thank you. Yep. Shoo. About 10 minutes in, fishing the mojo. Uh-oh. I got him. Got him? Yep. Another one. Oh, came off, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, I'm in like an awkward spot, dude. I'm really going to have to have you pull me up. Like, right. seriously, pull me up. I can't, uh, I have no leverage to get up. Look up. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> well, I okay. Well, we didn't break anything, right? No, nothing broke. Uh, all right. Um, just... oh, well, that was, that was probably one of the most interesting non-fish catches I've ever had. Wow. Dude, I'm really surprised we didn't break a damn thing right I there. Know. I don't know how I didn't fall into any cameras. I'm surprised this rod didn't snap in half. You did really well. That was good. That was called my that was my ballerina moves right there. Uh oh. You didn't Got him. Alright, we exposed the hook. So I missed the fish before this. Then we exposed the hook because I don't think the end of this uh, rod is really but look at that noodle. I know. Look at look at look at this rod just bending right there. This rod's not really meant for uh, what I'm doing, so more of a trout crappie rod creek fishing you mind uh you want to grab the big boy you want to lip him oh look at him oh oh rackley catch getting the toad the see let me look at that the key land he's <laughs> look at him just munching on that bam i like that trick worm i really do oh oh it's another fresh one there we go he ate it he's swallowed that well oh yeah. well, Hey, that makes me feel better. I'm literally throwing this thing. I usually I would have the, the hook inside, but I'm throwing it like this. Cause you know, I don't have to, look at this rod tip. You know, when you guys are like looking at your rod tips, you're like, oh God, but look at that. Look at that tip, man. It takes a lot to push that hook through that plastic, but when it's exposed, it's kind of like what you guys just saw. Man, maybe, I'm telling you this bank, man. This bank's this, doing this it. This money. Doing it. Doing it. But... Like fish, you got him? Oh shoot. Tree? You got a tree? Is it a good tree? Is it a big one? Is it a big tree? It's at least a tree pounder. Is it a tree pounder? Good hook set, dude. All right, we're about to see what Rackley decided he wanted to catch. Oh, it's something rubber. Like, look at it. What is that? I don't know. You want to grab it? Almost looks like a trap, like a bear trap or something. That's a. Crab pot. Is it a crab pot? What is it? What the hell, it's a cast net, dude. Oh, you caught a cast net. Well, you want to throw it in the back of the boat so we can get rid of it, so it's yeah, not sitting in here. Well, at least we did something good for our day. We cleaned up the... Earth. Yeah, we just helped Mother Earth there. I really... I, I hope... Go! Oh, you got him! Go! Oh, you got him out of the bush! Oh, it's a good-looking fish, too. Look how colorful he is. Nice and dark. Oh, dude, that's a pretty fish, dude. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, Rackley. Dang, dude. Beautiful fish. face, the stripes. Oh, it's a good-looking fish, man. First flipper fish of the day, guys. That is a very beautiful fish, people. If you guys like beautiful bass, this is it's beautiful. Pretty. You tell me, Rackley. It's on you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Call it. All right. Holy crap, guys! Now that was a ball buster if I have ever seen one. Let me tell you what. That was just a that was a crazy struggle. Usually we come out here, we just knock them dead. We last time we had it, we caught like 50, 60 fish, and Ridiculous. just a crazy amount of fish. And this time it was just. Uh, caught seven 
But we did catch a couple on the uh, this extremely ultra light rod. I, I'll link it below if you guys want to take a look at it. It's pretty sweet. <sighs> so anyway, let me know about those hats. What do you guys think? You guys like them? What do you guys think? You guys think I should sell these? You guys tell me. I'll let you guys. Uh, well, you guys are already leaving a comment below anyway, so let me know. Anyway, go check out Rackley. He'll be linked. You guys know who he is. Uh, we're back to the daily grind, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, we got a phone call. Who we got? It's the wife. I got a date. I'm